before the movie. Today's movie is not suitable for everyone. So big viewer discretion advise. Today's movie is about the brutal revenge of a man. It's very intense thriller movie. Spoiler ahead. Enjoy. One night, a school bus driver named Jang Kyung Chul encounters a pregnant woman named Jang Juyun and offers to fix her flat tire. After beating her unconscious, Kyung Chul dismembers Juyun at his home, and while doing so, Juyun's ring falls. Kyung Chul ignores it and scatters the body parts into a local stream. When a boy discovers one of Juyun's ears, the police arrive en masse to conduct a search, led by Section Chief O and Squad Chief Jang, Juyun's devastated father. The victim's fiance, Kim Soo Hyun, an NIS officer, is also present and vows to take revenge against the murderer. Soo Hyun learns of the four suspects from Squad Chief Jang and proceeds to privately torture and interrogate two of them. Upon searching the home of Kyung Chul, the third suspect, Soo Hyun finds Ju Yoon's engagement ring, proving that Kyung Chul was the perpetrator. A short time later, Kyung Chul brings a schoolgirl home and assaults her. Soo Hyun beats him unconscious. Rather than killing Kyung Chul and being done with it, Soo Hyun decides to shove a GPS tracker down his throat, allowing him to see Kyung Chul's location in real time and to listen to his conversations. Waking up injured, Kyung Chul walks along the road and is offered a ride by a taxi already containing one passenger. Upon getting in, and correctly guessing that the driver and passenger are in fact two bandits intending to rob and murder him, one being Su Hyun's unvisited fourth suspect, he strikes out preemptively and kills them both. Afterward, he finds the body of the real taxi driver in the trunk. Kyung Chul throws out all three bodies, and drives to a small town where he sexually assaults a nurse. Su Hyun arrives to subdue him and slashes his Achilles tendon before releasing him once more. Kyung Chul visits the home of his friend Taeju, a murderer and cannibal. After explaining his situation to Taeju, the latter remarks that whoever is after him must be the relative of one of his victims. Kyung Chul consequently deduces Su Hyun's identity after recalling Ju Yun's engagement ring, which Su Hyun had put on before attacking him previously. Su Hyun arrives and incapacitates both murderers along with Taeju's girlfriend Se Young. The next day, Taeju and Se Young, still unconscious, are arrested by the police and sent to the hospital. Su Hyun's trusted subordinate arranges for Su Hyun and Kyung Chul to evade the police and receive treatment for their wounds at a separate facility. The barely conscious Kyung Chul hears Su Hyun and the subordinate talking about the transmitter. Su Hyun releases Kyung Chul again, but the latter outsmarts Su Hyun, slashing the throat of a pharmacist while stealing emetics which he uses to throw up the transmitter, then plants it on a driver at a truck stop that he viciously beats. Su Hyun enters Taeju's hospital room to question him, and learns too late that Kyung Chul is going after squad chief Jang and his other daughter Jang se -yun. Enraged, Su Hyun breaks Taeju's jaw. Kyung Chul arrives at the house of Jang, and proceeds to brutally assault him with a dumbbell, then kills Jang se -yun. Shortly after, Kyung Chul attempts to avoid Su Hyun's revenge by surrendering to the police. However, Su Hyun drives by and kidnaps Kyung Chul right in front of the police's eyes. Taking him to the earlier warehouse, Su Hyun tortures him, places him under the makeshift guillotine, and leaves him holding a rope between his teeth to keep the blade from falling. Though he mocks Su Hyun, Kyung Chul begins to panic when he learns that his son and elderly parents, whom he had abandoned some time ago, have arrived and are trying to visit him. As his family opens the door despite his muffled protests, it triggers another mechanism set up by Su Hyun that drops the blade and brutally beheads Kyung Chul in front of his family. By the cabin. Please subscribe for more movies.